Welcome back everyone. Today we're in the Giants Editor and I'm Jewel and as you can see we're working on the campground as we did in the previous episode. We're not finished. We got a lot to do. This is obviously sloped more than I wanted it to as you can see so we'll have to deal with that but it's coming along pretty good. Let's go ahead and straighten that up a little bit. We're going to have to come out a little further than expected to situate. But anyway, I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. I appreciate all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It helps the channel grow and I appreciate it. And I want to continue making these videos. So, we're going to put it on the replace option. We make sure that all these uh, three here are up on this side to help us get it to the spot we want quicker and there's a video I have on the channel I think there's two actually uh, one on 19 I think and one on 22 but it explains this a little bit better but eventually I may do another one just to just to update some information on there but for now it basically will make this ground come up faster and the sh the hardness of the um like if it's square the hardness and the and the shapes of the edges will be sharper like it'll be straight up and down or to be kind of curved slightly it won't it won't get so straight up and down so fast depending on how high up you put it and each one's a little different i think this one was to do a little bit more with the the, the paint um, I'll have to go into it on the video though I don't want to get all into it now and, the, and then you got the value so I'll try to go into it on another video to, and sh see if I can't show but for now just giving you a little bitty answer about some of this if you're new but anyway this is our radius which is this size of this you can roll in and out with your scroll wheel or you can drag it here or you can type in the number there so what I'm going to do is hold it up here at this level, because that's where I want it. And I'm going to hit Control and R as in Richard. And then we can left mouse click and it'll bring it up to that level. I actually hit it a little further, but I'm going to bring it further over because it's just not wanting to slope where I want it. And I'm holding the right mouse button down now because I want it to slope down this hill here. And what that means is it's smoothing it. If you'll roll down over here, my right button on my mouse is smooth. And my left is replaced. The middle is smooth too, but I don't use it on like the middle button. If you like yours, use it. Uh, you have other options as you can see. But we're working with that. Usually you work with add, smooth, and subtract and replace the most. And then these are some other things. I have a video about one, uh, two of them. Uh, so check that out. Okay. So let's get over here. We'll have to fix anything we messed up when I went over. So yeah, I went over so far. So let me smooth that. Actually, that's, that was a mistake. Let me go back. What I'm going to have to do is take this off. We're going to move this tree. It's in the way. I can't see. Let's get it out of the way a minute. Okay. I'm going to make this go straight for a minute. Um, like so. And... Get it up to there, just a little bit, just to get that away from the edge of that. Now we're going to come over here and fix this, and then we can get it up to there without any issue of making that go down. And we'll fix this road, we're not done with the road yet, so the road has got a lot of work that needs to be done. Okay, so hopefully that situates this better so that it's more flat. we got to lift this up just a second. But now see when we come over the hill, 
will be a little bit better. Let's push this side down some more. Just a little bit. Whoop, I hit the wrong button. Undo. And just a little bit. Like so. A little bit there. A little bit there. Okay. Click on here. Make sure we get the whole group. Lift it up to there. Go in close and check it. And if we want to go down a little, that's fine. Whatever we want. And there we go. And of course we could add or take away more of this. You can hover over this. Put it on the paint. Uh, I'm trying to highlight it for you, but it's not highlighting. Let me go down see if that gets it. Huh. There we go. Terrain detail texture paint mode. And uh, control R over this cobblestone. Whoop. Must have hit it on the dirt. Didn't hit. Hit control R over the cobblestone. And then uh, it even if you don't have it on add, if you have it on replace, it will put down the stuff. Typically, you have it on add when you do this part. But it will do it when you have it on uh, replace. So you can just leave it. And then you can just have it wherever we see fit you know and i'm not leaving this permanent like i said this is uh you know subject to change it's not necessarily how we're gonna have it but this is just give it get us going okay all right so basically if you saw the other episode we do have to fix this road a little bit better but we didn't ever finish this one so let me look at it and see it's not too bad right here so that part's okay looks like this one's a little higher slightly so we'll take hit control R right here we got it on sculpt mode and that'll bring this side down a little just enough just back enough that it makes that look right and then we can uh, get it situated go past it a little bit and then we'll smooth it like so smooth that gently and gently there smooth this back up a little bit more and that should situate it because it was crooked yeah so now it's straight and then we can go forward or we can turn up this road. Now this road don't look too bad on the tilt. I'm trying to see. Some of it, since it's going to be just painted in, don't have to be adjusted too much. What we'll do is smooth this side down just a hair if we can. Just a hair. Just to situate it a little better. And that ought to take care of part of it, see? We might have to situate this little spot right there just a bit. Just a little bit. And, uh, I think we'll be okay. The road ain't painted, obviously. What I mean by the road ain't painted is, I'm talking about, this is just showing us it's going to be a road. This isn't painted the way the road is going to look. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay. So, we might have to smooth that a little bit more. Just a little bit. Alright. It's a little hard to tell with these trees, so I'm going to wait on most of that. But anyway, you get this and you come down and then you got this flat area. Looks like we smoothed it too soon on this side. But, like I say, the road's going to be one of those other kinds, so it, it's not going to matter as much if it's flat. I mean, the other ones don't have to be flat. And this looks like it needs smoothing a little bit. Like that. And hopefully I didn't go too much on the back side. Uh. Not too bad. Might be too steep. We'll have to check some of this in game. 
and obviously the road will be different than that. It won't be exactly like this. Okay, so we're going to have a spot here because we got some level, you know, we came down, we're going to have trees coming down. We got a level spot there. I'm just wondering what would I put there and is that too close to that? Or should we just have trees further and you got to go further before you get to too much stuff? Because basically some of it's going to come closer to the water. Like it would be nice if some of it came to here. Because look at this. This would be a nice little spot for people to be at the side of the water here. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking the gazebo we could duplicate. So let's duplicate this gazebo. Control D as in dog. And let's put it over here. We ain't going to put it all the way by the water. Because, you know. We don't want it to be too, too close. And you can see that's where it put it. You notice that's the control B option put it there. So see how far it put under? So see the, the difference uh, is so that it'd be like they could step over into it. So when I lowered that other one, it was for good reason. Because the, the, the fact that they made it go to that level is pretty... Usually that's how they set it up is my point. Not always, but when they make it go control B when you're hitting a building in place, it usually goes to the right level. And not always, but if it has a flat, you know, concrete bottom, it usually does. So there we go. Now we could lift it up if we, like I said, if we want to have a dock connecting somehow or whatever we want to do. But we can say that is good. Now the back sides a little bit too far there we go oh then it went back up again all right so let's take and click on this and uh the sculpt mode and hit control r right here and make it come to that level all around it and just a little bit back not too far and when we back out of this view a minute hit alt hold it down and hold your right mouse button down and it'll back you up or it'll push you in. Meaning you're holding down the right mouse button and the alt at the same time to move in and out. Alright, that's just for the new people. And then the sculpt mode, we click on it again and again we have it on the mouse button right side smooth. So we're going to press it and just go right around where we went with the edge of that that we just did so that we can smooth it back out. That means we flatten this part and then we smooth out the edges around it so that we don't have some jagged little edge because it's just, I don't like it. I like it to, most of it to be smooth, like so. All right, now it depends on if it's a rocky area though. That can be more jagged as you can see. Alright, so, what do we have? What is this? Okay. Now, we'll have to make probably our own type of sign. I'm not necessarily going to have um, the same name, but that was a cute idea for a sign. So, I will put the sign where I will put a sign potentially later. But this says cave. What does it say? Caves. Nature Center. Okay. Oh, call it okay. Nature Center. What does this one say? State Park. Okay, so this was the big sign. Let's just click on it. Okay. We'll put it at the front, even though we're going to make our own sign, or probably, or change that to some degree. We're going to put it where the, the entrance is, I'm assuming. We shall see. Okay, control B, left mouse click, left mouse click. Now we ain't going to do too much here because we got to still decide, uh, you know, information about what we're going to do with it. But we would pick an area for it. I don't know, I think it needs to be more 
They need to be able to see it when they're coming up here. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe the other side would be better. Over here. Let's put it over here. Control B. And tilt it. And again, this will be something different. We'll have to make up a name. Maybe change it or build our own sign. Uh, whatever the case. But this is just showing we're going to have some sort of sign here. Or, like I say, if you don't, you're not capable of doing that, you can just use this one. So. And then we'll go back over here. So we have our gazebo, which we could lift. I mean, it seems a shame that they didn't put the stairs into it uh, there. That just, just seems like really strange to me. I don't know what they was thinking. I just don't. All right. Now, I'm thinking the gazebos are going to be kind of spread out. Like, they're part of where people get to, like, each little campsite sort of deal. There's going to be some trees probably down here, too. Um, we need to find a spot to put some of this other stuff. What do we got here? This is this main big place here. I'm thinking... Do they want it by the water? Where do they want it? We could put it up here because then they could be eat back at camp and then say this is the, remember they said this is the cabin. See? Of course it's got all these lights that connect it to that other building. Uh, but we can move all that. We can change it however we see fit so don't worry about that. We can adjust all this stuff. But, in the meantime, we are going to put it probably on this upper area here. We'll have to adjust it. Control B, left mouse click, left mouse click. Come on over. Come back a little. Let me see. We're going to face it probably toward the water the view going that way most likely we'll see all right now we have to adjust the ground so we're going to click on the sculpt mode we're going to pick it right where we'll, this little spot starts to show because we're going to have it about that level so we hit there control r bring it to that level and go a little further because we got to bring it where it makes sense go a little bit further around bring it out a little bit now we're going to slope on the edges slope on the back side when I say slope I'm talking about the smooth option sometimes I just say slope because that's what I'm uh, actually ended up doing because that is what the smooth option is giving me Okay, so, we're going to take this back further with the left mouse button. We're not going to go too, too far. Because we want some different levels. Now we're going to smooth it. Right around. Okay. We're going to come down where we can see better. Okay. All right, so here's a cabin. Uh, I'm trying to look, see if that's good, how, if we want it up higher or not. I can't imagine we want it too high off the ground. I mean, a little bit's okay because it's just like, oh yeah, they built it up off the ground. Well, I mean, it's not that big a deal. And you can see these weren't put in under too terribly much there. So, so you can't go too high. Now, you can check all them. If you like that, leave it. If you don't, move it or delete it. Um, these poles went to that other building, essentially. Where am I at? Right here. So, um, 
we can either put them here or put them wherever we want. I mean, really, effectively, we can put them over here where this building, because I think they went to it. Control B, and we'll just stick it somewhere over here. And I don't know, we'll face it. Facing that way, I guess. I can't even see the light thing. Yeah, I think that's okay for now. Go back over here. Go down. Click on this. Click on that. Find that one again. Click it. Go back. I should have made sure I grabbed the whole thing. And I don't think I did on the other one. Oh, I see. What, what's going on? It's the group. Okay. Well, hopefully that's not a... Uh, you don't want to grab... Let me see what it says. Oh, I'm grabbing... Here they go again with that junk. Okay. Okay, so it's it's the full um uh, stuff. It's not it's not a Okay. That's what I thought. We're going to take this one and put it over here. I'm not sure if we're just sticking it on this end. Something temporary Spin it around, put the blue to the front. Okay. And roughly speaking, move it maybe to here. Tilt it whatever way we need to. We'll we'll adjust it more later. Uh, what is this? That's the caves. That's a nice little sign, too. Alright. What do we got? We got picnic tables. Now, it would make sense to me. I don't even know why they don't have it there. Well, I guess they got this door like that. I would have a picnic table there, I would think. So I'm going to click on one of them. I would have had it under the shelter. This would have went further, and I'd have had it under there. So let's put it here. And scoot it over a little bit. Come down. We can center it a little. Like that. And say they come out to sit outside and do what they got to do eat whatever they want. Alright, and we could pretend that's parked in. Like they come up and park here. So we could make dirt tracks go up in there. Uh, what else we got? What is this? Campers, please self-register. Uh, well this is definitely going to have to be up in the front where we come in at I would think it says self-register though um, I don't know I would think you'd have to have it go to the office it's telling them to self-register though looks like I went it still didn't go far enough I'm gonna click on this and go a little further Control R. I just don't like that. I want it to be further. We're going to take that further as well. If we're going to go, we're just going to go. <laughs> Alright. Smooth it out. Smooth that back. Alright. Maybe that'll be better. If I didn't knock it down again. Okay. That's decent. I like that better. Okay. Okay, we still good enough. Alright. So if we drive around, we're going to come up a hill. I think we should just take this between there and take it to there. Um, 
and have separate sections. Um, it's kind of hard to see what I'm trying to do with this angle. Because I can't see that. There we go. From that angle. That's what I was trying to do. This is all in the way. Alright, I'm going to grab this. Control R. And bring this around and have it come up here. And I know that looks really big, but it's just... It's not going to be like that. This is just an example. So then we'll have it come past here. So when you're driving, you'll see that. You'll get, we'll adjust this, obviously. You'll come around and come up and then park at the, at the cabin. So we'll have to adjust some of this. So let's do that. All right, let's get this. We got smooth. We'll just go ahead and smooth right there, right here. Well, notice I'm sticking to one side on purpose. Let's hope that it does what I need. We'll see. I may have to adjust it some other way, but potentially. Okay helped a little. We still gonna have to lift it. So what we're going to do now is control R on this corner. Lift the road up. Pass it up. Okay. Smooth it on this side. There we go. Smooth it. And then we can fix this hill. So now, we start coming down, when we get to this turn, it's going to be a little straight for a second, and then it starts going down again. Okay. Uh, let's fix this. That looks decent. We got a little bit of fixing, but not too much. A little bit there, a little bit there. Okay. Let's get over here a little bit. And smooth out this edge. Alright, we gotta lift that a little more. Oh, that is not quite what I wanted, but it'll be okay. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's fix this a little bit better. Okay, and I accidentally knocked it down up here, so I'll have to, you know, take this, control R, get that back situated. When I hit smooth, it, it kind of messed it up a little. You have to watch that. If you go past, it's what happens. And we can lower that um, into place, you know. We can fix it. There we go. Alright. And if we don't like that, that's a little high. Look at it. This thing's hanging on the edge of that thing. So their intention would be for that to be on the ground. <laughs> Okay, we could either move that or we could put it all the way on the ground or whatever, but I don't like that. So we're going to move this bench because that's just ridiculous. So the bench is going to have to be moved. We're going to put the bench at the back of the wall, I guess. I don't know, or just pull it on out like they sitting out here looking that way or something, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll have to make a, might make a garden or area or whatever. But we ain't going to have it doing what they were doing with it. Alright. And put this here. Control R. Get that situated. Uh, let's turn it off for a minute. 
I've got to smooth this a bit. Right there. Alright. And that's good for now. We can come down. We, we start coming down. We hit this. We turn. We go down. And we got to adjust this a little bit more. We're going to try to smooth it on this side. Notice I'm going past it to try to get this part to come down a little bit. And if we have to, we're gonna, we'll just raise it up a bit. Control R. Raise it up. Bring it over. And then smooth it. Straight across. Like so. So then when you come down... You hit this, we gotta smooth this a little bit more, like that, then we go straight down. Like so. And of course the dirt would meet up with that dirt. Uh, like this, control R, what have you. And of course it's not going to look like that kind of dirt. It'll be like a trail probably, we'll see what we end up with. But, that should be good enough for now on that. We don't want to get too much going on. And then we can get up this hill, okay? Alright. I'm trying to decide what else do we need to do. We need a central area for this big thing. Um, let me see. What if the central area Uh, what's here, potentially? I don't know, though. That seems like you might want to go down by the water with that. And eat by the water. Because some of this is going to change, obviously. What if we put it over here? Let's just test it out. Did I highlight the right thing when I was over here? No. Let me highlight this. And we'll take all that with us. We'll just deal with it. I wish they would separate some of that. Not, they can put it in a group. They just, I don't know why they, some of, I mean, I know mine's messy too. Because I got a lot of stuff I got to move around. I get why they do it, but I wish they would fix it. Alright, control B. Left mouse click, left mouse click. Oh, you see that? I clicked it in that middle piece again. And it changes the scale. So I'm going to click back one to get it back to the scale it was at. Okay. And we're going to turn it where this this faces the road, I think. Let me see where the water is. I, don't, I like to face it toward the water. Like the line here, line there, so that it's a viewing point uh, from that kind of an angle. There we go. So when they're here, whoop, they flying around. They can see the water from here. See? Alright, so now the back side looks at the level, almost, and the front needs to be adjusted. So we got a little bit of adjusting to do, so we're going to click here, click by this, control R, and try to get it situated. I got to go past it a little bit. I'm going further to try to make the matchup afterwards so it's not just, you know. So when I smooth, it'll be all together 
you know, it'll make sense. And get around the edges. Alright. And we can see how far we need it to go down. Maybe we don't want it to go up too high. Something like that. That's good. We could put more than one in if we want. Um, potentially the lights will be changed too. Um, we could grab these lights and actually put it on the, the other corner if we want to. It really just depends on what you want to do with them. And make sure they're angled whichever way that you want them. And you, if you want to get them lined up, you just got to situate yourself to where you can see and decide what lined up is. And that's approximately there. And then this one can go over here. Approximately lined up. Control B. Check the front one. Match it up a little. I think it needs to go this way here. Something like so. We can always adjust it if it's not right. Uh, yeah, pretty much. And there we have it. So we have several things done. Let's go look and see what else we have. Okay, we got that. We got that. What is this? Okay. And then we'll, we'll need this stuff. We can put that in different places. Because they are going to need that. And then we got the playground. Okay, had a bench. We can stick another bench down here. And we'll du duplicate it when we need to. See, this is perfect because they can sit here and chit chat. Right there. While they're looking down. Alright. And then we can put this can. Depending on if this one has a can or not, this one has this. What kind of can is this? Definitely a garbage can, right? Recycle. Plastic and glass. Well, that should probably go at the picnic table thing. If it doesn't already have one. Potentially. We'll stick it on... Um, this corner somewhere along there they gotta have something uh oh what's this something's under there we're finding buried treasure aha that is interesting what is it trash Public stand trash can something. Okay. Well. We're going to put it up here. Because that's a weird one. <laughs> they already got them up here. Well, y'all going to get another one. Because it's a weird one. There. And back it up to at least kind of fades in there. That's good. Well, it ain't good. Got to look at every corner, and we got to twist it a little. Well, it still ain't. Let's zero it out. 
See if that helps. I don't think it will, though. Nope. Let's try 34. Uh, that ain't working out. Let's try 34. That's pretty close. Pretty close. We'll leave it there for now. But anyway, I don't think we're going to do too much more. We're going to leave it at that. I don't want to go and get carried away, make the video too long. But as you can see, oh, we got to lower that. We moved that. I forgot. Uh, bring it till it's touching. Till it just touches. And bring it back up here. We'll fix it if it's not in the right spot. Alrighty. So let's turn that off. We still got floaters back there. That's funny looking. But anyway. I guess we're going to call that an episode. And I'm going to do more on it on the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.